Today, the number of people infected with Wuhan virus in the U.S. is a terrible number. But there are still several densely populated countries in the world that have infected people earlier than the U.S. But still, no serious outbreak so far. There are Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan. What there are in common is that all people wear masks. The epidemic in European countries and U.S. is very serious. What we have in common is that we don't wear masks. This mask is made of cotton cloth with good filtering ability. Now please look at the enlarged cotton fiber, which can completely prevent the entry of 10 micron virus. Here is 100 times zoom in, 500 times, 1000 times, 2000 times. Now look at the paper fiber. This is 500 times, 1000 times. 2,000 times and 4,000 times. Let's make it together. In one day, you can make 10 masks enough for you to use to the end of the world. We need a braceable cotton fabric, elastic fabric, um, the cotton and pillow, tissue, and here are the tools. And now we need to cut a piece of cloth, which is 460 millimeters times 170 millimeters, which is 18 times 7 inches. And we're gonna fold 10 millimeters in, which is 38 inch. And we're gonna fix it with tape. And then we're gonna sew couple points. And also when folded, the front of the claws need to facing up. And I iron it with this pan. So I boiled water and then I used a hot pan to iron it. And we fold it. And we're gonna draw a line at about 10 millimeters and we're gonna sew it. And now I iron it again with my pen. And now we're gonna sew a hole using the straw for our elastic band to go through. And we're gonna stabilize it with the clip and we're gonna sew it like that. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And now we're going to cut out a uh, elastic cloth, which is 120 times 50 millimeters and 5 times 2 inches. And now we need to cut a piece of cardboard with 20 millimeter wide, about 7 8 inches. And we're gonna use the elastic fabric wrap around the cardboard and we're gonna sew it. And now we're gonna fold it half and we're gonna sew the middle part together to divide it into two spaces.
and now we're gonna make a paper pipe with the cardboard and we're gonna insert the cardboard pipe to the elastic band bag and we're gonna use a pencil to put the cotton in there And then we're gonna seam the end to close it up. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side and seam the end. And now we're gonna cut another cloth that is 70 times 30 millimeters and a cardboard that is 10 millimeters wide. And we're gonna do the same thing to it like we did to another one. I'm going to use the cardboard pipe to put the cotton in there. And we're going to seam the end. And now we're going to draw a mid line. And then we're going to place the one on the top. And we're going to sew it. And from 70 millimeters away, we're gonna sew the small one and make sure only sew the top layer, not the bottom one, to leave a space in the middle so we can put tissue in there. And now we're going to cut the straws, make it more sharp, and we're going to put it into the hole, and then we're going to fold the top and the left corners to sew them together to seal better. We're going to fold the mask in half and sew it, sew the 50 millimeters together, so it can, so the bottom can seal the better. We're going to get our elastic band from the claws, and then we're going to use the straw put the straw in and we're gonna put the band and the straw and we're gonna use the straw to pull it out and do the same thing to the other side make it look like that and we're gonna get our tissue fold it four times and we're gonna put it in the mask and it's all done and now wear the mask according to the demonstration. Make a knot and pull it back so it can be tight. Try to brace, see if the air leak is completely sealed. Check it, the side and the bottom. With regular hand washing and six foot social distancing, you won't be infected with Wuhan virus all your life. May God bless you.